Once you understand how to use Bootstrap in this project, let me show you how you can add SAS files inside this project and how you can customize your CSS styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first center this login form right here. So I'm going to just put all this code inside a container. Container is a Bootstrap class and it will just add some space to the left and to the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just minimize this division tag and just down here I'm going to create another div and I'm going to specify class to it which is container. Inside this container I'm going to create a new row. So I'm going to say here row along with that I'm going to add my custom class which is login box. Now because we have bootstrap in this application I can make this application responsive using bootstrap grid system. If you want to know more about bootstrap grid system I have a dedicated video on it. You can check out that video from the top right corner of the screen. Now inside the bootstrap you have a row and inside that row you have 12 column grid system. Each column has their own space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify 7 column space to the division tag. So here I'm going to call a bootstrap class called LG7. Now this means I'm going to specify 7 column space to this division tag. Just out of that I'm going to add here BG color and I'm going to add a line cell center bootstrap class. And just out of that I'm going to grab this division tag, this one. I'm going to cut this right from here and paste that inside this division tag like this. Let me just minimize this division tag like this. So you can notice here I'm going to just simply create a container. Inside that container I'm going to create a row. Inside that I'm going to create a bootstrap grid column and inside that I'm going to create my login form. When I save the changes you can notice my form is inside a container. Now when you maximize this code it looks very messy. I'm going to grab this form and create a dedicated component for it. So whenever you start working with react application keep in mind create a dedicated component for every section so you can manage that component very easily. So I'm going to open my explorer right here. I'm going to create a new file inside this source. So I'm going to first create a new folder inside this source folder. So here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it components and inside this components I'm going to create another folder with the name imports and inside this imports I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name that file login form.jsx. Now as you know you can use jsx file as well to create react component. So I'm going to just create this file here and just for that inside this login form.jsx file here I'm going to first add the functional react component. So I'm going to say here react functional component. I'm going to press enter. It's going to add the import statement with the component name. So I'm going to have here login form. I'm going to pass here parameter called props so I can access different properties of this component and inside this div right here I'm going to put this division tag this one. So I'm going to cut this division tag right from here and paste it inside this login form like this. Now let me just quickly align this code. Now once you properly align this code let me just use this login form inside my app.js right here. So let me just back to my app.js and let me close this div, save this file. You're not going to get anything because you don't have the login form here. So at the top right here I'm going to just simply say import login form from and I'm going to specify the path of my component. So I'm going to say here components imports and inside that I'm going to have my login form. I'm going to specify that here copy this login form and here I'm going to simply specify my login form like this. Let me save this file and as you can see I'm going to have my login form here. Just for that I want to add my custom styling to this login form. Instead of using CSS in this project I'm going to use the SAS file. SAS is a preprocessor of CSS. SAS allows you to rapidly develop a CSS for your application. So I'm going to use SAS inside this project. So let me just open my explorer tab and just down here inside this source folder I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it app.scss. Now the extension of the SAS file is scss. I'm going to create this file and inside this file I'm going to first import the fonts. So I'm going to just open a new tab and search here google fonts and from this website fonts.google.com I'm going to pick my font and specify that to my application. So I'm going to here search for open SAS this font I'm going to click on this font and select the regular style. So I'm going to select this style you can notice here I'm going to have this font here and then I'm going to choose another font so I'm going to select here 
FPT cells. I'm going to select the regular font for this as well. So I'm going to choose this regular 400. So I'm going to click on this, select this style. So on the right side of your screen, you will have two fonts. First is open SAS, second is PT SAS. I'm going to just import both these fonts inside my project. You can either use this link tag and put this link tag in your index.html or you can use this import statement. I'm going to use this import statement. I'm going to copy this, open my project and I'm going to paste this import statement here without the style tag like this. I'm going to just save this file and close this Google tab. So just down here, I'm going to first select all my HTML elements. So I'm going to specify here asterisk and then I'm going to say here font family and in the single quote, I'm going to say open sans and as a callback value, I'm going to specify sans serif. So if you don't have this open sans font family inside your project, I'm going to call this sans serif, which is the default value for this font family. I'm going to save this file and still you are not going to get anything here because you need to import this app.css file inside your app.js or I can say inside your component. So instead of this app.css, I can just simply specify here app.scss. Before I save this file, let me delete the app.css file because I'm not using this file anymore. So I'm going to delete this app.css file from here and I'm going to just back to the app.js and now I'm going to save this file. When I save this file, you're going to get an error message. Here, the error message says, cannot find module SAS. It means you don't have the SAS module inside your project to compile the SAS file into CSS. So you need to first install a module called Node SAS inside your project to compile the SAS into CSS so that React can use it. So I'm going to just open my project and I'm going to open my terminal. Let me just stop the development server and I'm going to say here, npm i for install and I'm going to install a module called node sas. Now this module allows us to compile the sas file into CSS so we can use it in the react application. When I press enter it will just take few seconds to install this module in your project. Now once you've done that clear the screen and start your development server using npm start command. You're going to have your development server and now you have the font family open sas to this project. Now let me close this tab, close the terminal, and then I'm gonna open the app.scss. Now I can add styling to my project. Now when I open my package.json file, you can notice here inside the dependencies, you have a module called node sas. Make sure you have this module inside your dependencies so the React can convert the sas file into CSS. So once you install this node sas, let me just close this package.json and here I can easily style my login form.